Microsoft Designer tutorial, how to use Microsoft Designer for beginners. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started with using Microsoft Designer. Now we all have heard about generative AI and how we're building artwork with it, but Microsoft Designer is so much more than that. It's an actual design tool that can help you in not only creating with AI, but starting from scratch, optimizing with AI and editing with AI as well. So let's get started. Now to get started, simply head on over to designer.microsoft.com and then click on sign in on the top right. Now you're going to sign into your Microsoft account. If you don't have one already, simply go on ahead and click on create account to create your account. So I'm just going to proceed with my account over here and we're going to sign in like so. So I can actually save all of my creations on Microsoft Designer. And once we have logged on, we can proceed with our creations. So over here on the top left, you have a create with AI and then a my project section. Now in your my project section, all of your projects are going to be stored and you have your first design, you have the storage that you have. So you have five gigabytes of storage. And then after that, on the top right, you have a create button. Now you have the ability to edit with AI and use features like restylers, framing photos, as well as editing images, removing backgrounds, restyling, framing, and generative erase. Now generative erase can be great for removing extra people in the background. For example, if I go into the generative erase over here, I can actually upload any photo from my device. So I'm just going to take any random photo like this one and then click on upload. Once I do that, I can point to an object in the image and then select it. So I'm going to select this particular image like this. And then I'm going to just select this image like this. And then after that, I want to erase. We can erase that particular area or obviously you can select it inversely. So if I want, I can only keep, you know, Kendall Jenner in that. But if I undo this, so I'll show you guys how you can do that. So you can select the individual like this and you can click on cut out to cut out the individual or remove the generative uh, erase. For example, if I want to remove these people here and I'm going to click on clear all and then I'm going to click on brush select. Now I want to maybe remove all of the photographers on top. So I'm going to select this like so, and I'm going to remove like the top layer of photographers. So there's not a lot of focus on top. And then I will click on erase. And now it's going to erase it and then just fill it out with a background that is cohesive with the rest of the image like so. Now, if I go back into Microsoft Designer, we can do much more and we can even create directly with AI. So if I click on design from scratch, I can actually design different things, things related to productivity, such as your headers, flyers, social media content, print, paper, photos, or you can even build presentation designs here or, you know, elements for presentations here. I'm going to go with create with AI because I want to create some images with AI. Now, if you scroll down, you will actually see some prompts available with the individual output. So we have birthday cards we can generate. We have personalized avatars we can generate. We have seasonal wallpapers, uh, one of a kind coloring pages as well. But I'm going to go on ahead and scroll up. You guys can see we have a bunch of different uh, prompts. And you can even go to ChatGPT to get more prompts. I want to go with a character and I want a nice character like this. So I'm going to click on edit this prompt and I'm going to be using this as my basic frame. So an adorable elderly man in the reclining in a burgundy, burgundy shirt. So a adorable young girl playing with a red superhero in a living room with soft, warm lights, wearing vintage ivory bifocals, so wearing vintage or wearing flowy white shirt or top, wearing flowy white 
dress, wearing a flowy white dress, and then with a silver, you know, combed hair with um, black, thick hair, frizzy, messy. The girl should have a quirky, contented grin, grin like this. Background is out of focus, like this, and the girl like this. So after that, I'm just going to go with the description. After that, I have the size that I want to make the image in. I want it to be square. And then just click on generate. Once I click on generate, the designer AI is now generating our image. So we're just going to wait for the image generation to be completed. You guys can see there are four variations that were generated. And these are so adorable. I personally think this looks so cute. I love all four of them. I really can't say anything bad about it. I I think all four of the, you know, AI's generated images are pretty good. This one is especially good because the character or the superhero is pretty interesting. This one is also really good. I don't like the superhero in these two. They look a bit out of proportion. They look a bit too large. So I might like these two bet better. But you can further provide more detail and you can click on edit. And once you click on edit on your AI generated image, you can further edit it with AI. You can edit it like you normally would. So you can restyle it. Let's say I like this version, but I also want to build a pop art version or a pixel art version. I can ask it to use AI to restyle it. I'm going to do the pixel art. So let's see what our AI generated image would look like with pixel art. And it only takes a couple of seconds. So you really can do this anytime, anywhere. I'm just going to wait for the generation to be completed like so. And then move forward. So we're just going to wait for it, wait for it until we can proceed. And you can even do any type of restyling. You can even provide it a prompt for how you want to restyle your image. So this is the pixel art version. These look pretty cute as well, but they are a bit different from the original image. So I would prefer to go with a prompt instead. Now, after that, we also can make adjustments. We can also go into text and add some text markups we can add our own media we can generate our own visuals as well as use these pre-made illustrations like we normally would on other graphic tools if you've used canva you probably have a lot of experience in these types of small visual elements that you can integrate and just like that you can get started with microsoft designer to finally download your creation just click on download on the top right and that is all you have to do to get started I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.